All right, what's going on? Uh, so first we're going to go down to the sources box and add media source. Make sure you click a loop down here. Then browse to where the folder is that you just downloaded with the, all the layers. Pick layer one. Mm, right there. Double click it. Hit OK. Now you're going to want to resize this. Um, I find the best thing to do is to go transform, stretch to screen. I do that with almost all layers because then you can change the height and width independently. But there you go, just move it up to the top of the booth there. Now we're going to add the second layer that's an image. Browse to where you keep the file. Layer 2, see they're all numbered, so just start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same thing again, just add it, resize it, go transform, stretch to screen. And that's going to be perfectly in line with the other layers, so make sure you do that. Okay, now we're going to add the third. It's a media source. I, I believe it's a GIF, but the thing is, you can import GIFs as images, but sometimes i found they won't play, or they'll play all through once and then stop, they won't repeat. So I do it as a media source just to make sure it doesn't waste time. Okay, layer 3. And layer 3 is going to be an option for throwing over the speaker, so you want to kind of line it up there. So I have to get it perfectly right right now, just uh, pretty much. There you go. Then instead of importing the same thing again, you just go copy, and then right click, paste reference. Boom. And then it's going to make a second. Later on, we're going to group these two so that you can turn them on and off with one button. But don't forget to lock everything up after you do the layers, because otherwise things get accidentally moved around and it's annoying. Right, so I just turned off those two so you can't see them, so we can get on with this. Then another layer, media source. I think you probably get it at this point, but we'll just get it done. And it's going to be the EQ. This is totally optional, you know, if you want to use it or not. Now, see, that's this is why we stretch the screen. It's not going to be long enough or higher or too high if we if we just leave it in the standard dimension. So by stretching the screen, we can fit it to the background exactly. And that's why I stretch the screen pretty much every layer. There you go, boom. Lock it up. We're almost there. So we're going to add, this is where you'll notice in the layer numbering, I missed out layer five, I think it is, because that's going to be your camera. So I'm just set up my camera here. Uh, for those of you who haven't done this very much, make sure your turntables are at the top of the bottom of the frame, like right where it cuts off. Just make sure that your decks are there because uh, that's going to be where our booth starts. So it's going to look fine. Now you just add the chroma key. Um, this takes a little bit of fiddling around sometimes to get your lighting right. Here, I'll go to my lighting on right now. There we go, looks a lot better. You want it solid gray, obviously. I'm not really gonna get into that in like this tutorial too much, but there you go. So we've added chroma key and this is a cool trick. What you want to do is 
for the sides of the box, obviously you want to cut them to the dimension where the green screen starts, right? So you can crop just one side of your frame by holding Option and dragging the, the little red thing in the middle of the side. You can just crop just that side without changing the size of the image. So that's really fast and quick. Otherwise you have to do it through transform and it's, uh, it's a bugger. So boom, there we go. Um, you can size this a bit later because obviously you want it to be in proportion with the rest of the scene, you know, but don't worry about that right now. Just get it to about what you think is about right. Line it up right to the top of the bit where the booth starts there. And basically we're just going to throw on the final layer. It's just an image. I included two different versions of this last layer with the broom box on it, like a one darker and one lighter, depending on what you want. Both the same thing. Okay, so layer six. We'll go with grey. And don't forget what you want to do is stretch to screen. So right click, transform, stretch to screen, and it's gonna fit everything else perfectly boom there you go and your lights behind the the woofers can can uh, turn on and off what we're going to do is group those two uh, media source 25s that we made a copy of so there we go now set this last layer here it is the little VU meter gif just to give it a bit more kind of interaction I really like these old style VU kind of peak meters there's loads of them online you can download look at just gifs there you go I think it makes it look a bit more customized there and we're definitely going to transform stretch to screen this one because if you get it just right and it fits in the, where the, the original one was on there then you can even get the shadows around the box that will make it look authentic so go and lock it up boom so that's it like um Hope this tutorial you found interesting. A couple of quick tips. Uh, finally, we're just going to group these two um, things we have right behind the speakers that we added earlier, so that we can turn them on and off just with one click. Otherwise, you'll have to do them independently. It's not nearly as good for switching it back and forth. So you just group them. You just select both layers select one and then while you're holding shift click on the other one and it'll select them both and then once they're in there you want to size them again kind of just right this is where you want to you know kind of get the sizing right it can be a little tricky to get them looking the same on both sides but it doesn't take too long boom there you go because they're grouped, once I get it right, it's almost there. You get the picture anyway. There you go. You close it up, you lock them all up, and then boom, on. Off, oh, yes. Perfect. And you can go online and find any video stuff that has, you know, whatever circle or from behind the booth there. Um, it's just important to remember that stretching screen is your friend. Otherwise, it's going to be have a ratio there, you know. Okay, and that's it.